Hi, I'm Gabriel Gonzalez, Heart Intelligence Coach, founder of Heart and Mind Consulting and the Academy for Applied Heart Intelligence. In this audio, I'm going to guide you through what I believe is one of the most powerful and effective spiritual tools that I've ever come across, the prayer of the heart, also known as heart rhythm meditation. I was first introduced to this meditation by Susanna and Puran Bear, who are the founders of the Institute for Applied Meditation on the Heart. They share with me that this form of meditation actually emerged during the time of the Apostles of Jesus to Christ, when it was known as the Prayer of the Heart, or as it was later called, the Jesus Prayer. It's a prayer that's been used in monasteries worldwide for many centuries. The practice of heart rhythm meditation helps you increase the neurological connections between your nervous, endocrine, respiratory, and circulatory systems, literally uniting the heart, mind, and body to bring you into a state of radiant peace called coherence. Coherence is a fluid state of awareness, a state of inner calm and ease in which you have your full attention on the here and now and you're able to flow with the natural rhythm of life in the most relaxed and joyful way. This meditation involves taking deep, full breath rhythmically as you focus on the heart while reciting a mantra or a phrase. In the original prayer, the words Kiri Ellison, Christi Ellison, which is Greek for Lord have mercy on us, cries have mercy on us, were used. So please find a comfortable space where you will not be disturbed. I recommend that you sit on a chair with both feet on the ground, with your spine fully erect, almost as a king or a queen sitting on their throne. Ready to get started? Let's begin. As we begin this prayer of the heart, also known as the Jesus prayer or simply heart rhythm meditation, let's begin by setting the intention to open our hearts and to be receptive to new thoughts, new ideas, new insights that may allow us to remember who we really are deep within our hearts. Who that essential being that is behind every thought, every feeling, every sensation really, truly is. We do this by placing now one hand on our hearts as a way to just simply focus on our heart center as we gently begin to now breathe into the heart. So imagine for a moment that your breath, rather than being accepted through your nose or just your mouth, imagine that it's actually moving straight into your heart as if you had a tiny little hole in the center of your chest. As you do this, notice that your breath can become rhythmic. What this means is that both your inhale and your exhale can be equal in length. Breathing in and out of the heart. As you do this, notice your heartbeat. You may feel it as a pulsating wave, or you may notice it as a gently back and forth swing of your body. 
or it might be a sound you actually hear a lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. It is this fresh breath of air that you're taking what powers your heart. This is why our ancestors used the word spirit, which means breath. As we breathe evenly and rhythmically into the heart, what we're doing is energizing it with the breath of life itself. Now notice that as you breathe in and out of your heart, the mind's tendency is to think. So imagine for a moment that every thought that you have can now be gently channeled into the heart. You may imagine that your head is beginning to now to disappear or to melt like hot wax. begins to now flow into the heart where with every breath every thought is deeply allowed and accepted this heart that's beating moment to moment there's more than enough space for everything to be deeply loved and accepted so equally allow every physical sensation that you have to penetrate into the core of your heart as you direct every sound every taste everything that you perceive through your physical senses every physical sensation just breathing it into the heart also allowing every feeling and every emotion that is arising moment to moment to the heart with every breath I take I grant unconditional acceptance to every thought every physical sensation and every feeling and emotion As you continue to do this silently, continue to notice the heartbeat. That love dub is the first language you learned. We human beings are rhythmic creatures. this rhythm within our own bodies it's now becoming a tune and trained or in sync with the rhythm of the planet and the rhythm of the cosmos
Now notice that your breath can become circular. In the same way in which your heart pumps your blood in a circular fashion all around your physical body. As you continue to do this, your heart is now being energized by this life force that is the energy of all life. Bringing all your systems together and in harmony. circulatory, respiratory, endocrine, nervous systems, all coming together in unity. All thoughts dedicated to union with this present moment As you continue to do this, gently allow a smile to be drawn upon your face. Even if you don't feel like smiling at this moment, simply smile. And what you might do is simply think of something or someone that you deeply love and care for. Perhaps bringing a memory of a time in your life when you were having an experience of love, of joy. As you do this, breathe this memory into your heart and allow the feeling of joy and love to well up from within your own heart. Keeping this smile alive. It is this emotion of love, joy, and appreciation that opens the heart. And as we do this, you may now invite a mantra or a phrase such as Lord have mercy on me Christ have mercy on me Lord have mercy on me Christ have mercy on me Lord, have mercy on me. Christ, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Christ, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Christ, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Christ, have mercy on me. If you notice your mind wandering, simply bring the attention back into the heart. 
unconditionally loving and accepting yourself through your heart by washing away every thought of judgment that you may be having. Allowing these words to carry you deeper and deeper into the ultimate truth that is revealed within your own heart. Lord, have mercy on me. Christ, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Christ, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Christ, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Christ, have mercy on me. For the next few moments, simply follow the song within your own heart as you continue to repeat, Lord, have mercy on me. Christ, have mercy on me. heart is the clock that keeps you tuned in to the natural rhythm of life that is unfolding right this moment. Knowing that all of your needs are met this moment. Right here, right now, all is well. That you are exactly where you need to be. And that this increased connection with your heart center is opening you up to the miracle of life and the answers to all the questions that you seek that are within you. You are in the flow of life itself, knowing exactly what to do, where to go, who to speak to, and what to say. All of this for the highest good of your life and the glory of the Creator. So gently take a few moments now to 
open your eyes as you reacquaint yourself with your physical space around you. And then just notice what's different. What has changed? Did you have or receive any insights during this brief meditative process? And if so, if you feel like journaling about it or sharing it with someone that you care for, please do so. They will be happy and your heart will be happy that you did. I hope you have enjoyed this meditation practice and that you can incorporate it into your daily routine to, on a regular basis, create a sacred space of the heart where you can come in and tune in to the natural rhythm of life unfolding through your heart moment to moment. By allowing every thought, every feeling, every sensation to melt into your heart listening to the love dub to the life force energy moving through you and calling forth from within you a deeper connection with Jesus or just simply the energy of love allowing it to harmonize your life to restore all of your systems and ultimately remind you the magnificence that you are Thank you very much for allowing me to be your guide and I look forward to connecting with you very, very soon. Bye-bye.